Hello there. This is the family doctor. Just wait, and don't keep fussing around me all the time. How can I get your lunch ready if you keep meddling with me? But we want to get going, Mom. Now, let me see. I, think, uh, I guess everything's ready. Will you boys promise me not to go near the lake? It's too early to go in swimming, and I haven't any money for you to waste on Griff Miller's boat. Oh, gee, Mom. I've got two bits. Can't you let us have two bits more so as we can take a ride in a boat? Two bits? No, Billy, you keep your 25 cents. You'll be glad you saved it when you want to go to a movie next week. Oh, Okay. Come on, Jimmy. Edna? Oh, yes, Lynn. Have the boys gone yet? No, they're still here. Oh. Now, boys, while you twins are away on your hike today, I want you to remember that you are brothers. I don't want to hear any disagreements. Is that understood? Sure, Dad. Yeah, Dad. Is that all? Yes, that's all. Have a good time, boys, but stay away from the lake unless Mr. Miller's right there. Yeah, we will. So long, Mom. Bye, Dad. Bye, 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 Bye. boys. Why, <laughs> boys? Nearly knocked off Adam's dust. Oh, that's all right, Mrs. Maynard. I'm not critically injured. We're sorry, Doctor. Yeah, that's all right. Hey, don't worry about it, boys. You looked as though you were in somewhat of a hurry. Yeah, Dr. Adams. We're going on a hike. Oh, well, that's fine. Where are you going? Uh, up to Miller's Lake. Jimmy. Uh, I mean, uh, up by Miller's Lake. I see. Well, have a good time. Okay. Well, 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 Getting them out worse. Hello, Griff. Huh? Who's that? Billy and Jimmy Maynard. Oh, howdy, boys. What you doing up here? Oh, we've just come up on a hike. Uh, what are you doing, Griff? Oh, caulking this number five black bottom again. Can't seem to stop her leaking. There. There, now we'll try it. We'll help you, Griff. Come on, Jimmy. All right. Grab right. over there. Come on. Come on. There she looks. Hunky dory to me. Only seen the dory, just a flat bottom. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, Griff, uh, would you like my brother and me to try her out for you? <sighs> oh, oh, no, no, I'll, I'll take a roll around to the other side of the lake for all. We, we wouldn't go far, Griff. Mm, sure. You want to take a ride, huh? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah uh-huh. Griff. Uh, uh, we... Got a letter from your ma or your pa? Letter? Yeah, got to have a letter before I let any of you youngins take a boat out from now on. Well, no, no, you haven't got a letter. Uh, well, uh, you bring the letter now. Let you go out. Okay. Come on, Billy. Let's get going. Yeah. Come on. Uh, where are you going? Oh, just up the hill a ways, I guess. We've never been past the lake before. We're kind of going exploring. Oh, yes. well, uh, all right, boys. Uh, stop in on your way down. I'll give you some licorice root to talk. Uh, gee, thanks, Griff. Yeah. Okay, Griff. So long. How far do you think it is to the top of the hill, Billy? Oh, I, I don't know. About 50 miles, maybe. Uh, should we try to make it to the top today before we eat? Well, all right, we can try it. Come on. Hey, Jimmy, let's stop for a while, huh? What's the matter? You getting chickened? Who's chicken? Listen to you. You're puffing like, like an old freight train yourself. Well, okay. If you want to rest... 
I'll stop with you. Hey, Jimmy, look over there. Yeah, what? Do you see something that looks like a cave? Huh? Okay, well, let me see. Oh, yeah. Kind of a hole in the side of the hill. Well, what do you say we explored, huh? Yeah, let's. Come on. Gee, uh, I wonder what's in there. Maybe a bear or something, huh? No, there ain't any bears up here. Only jackrabbits. I wonder why we've never heard of this cave before, Billy. I don't know. Maybe we're the first to ever see it. Wouldn't that be something? Golly, yeah. Well, here we are. Should we... Should we go in? Well, okay. You ain't scared, are you, Billy? Me? No. Go on, you go first. Uh, gee, it's getting kind of dark, ain't it? Uh-huh. Can, can you see anything yet? No, not yet. Oh, oh. <laughs> Jimmy! Jimmy, what's happened? Where are you? Jimmy, Jimmy! Oh, Jimmy! Are you hurt? Are you all right? My leg kind of hurt, and it's wet down here. I saw into a big hole, Billy. Don't you come any closer. Oh, gee. Listen, Jimmy, I'll run down to Griff Miller's as fast as I can. Will you be all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be all right. Only kind of hurry, won't you? You're darn right I'll hurry. I'll be right back, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the strangest thing I've ever heard of, Mr. Sutton. Oh, no, no, Dr. Adams, not so strange. I run into the same sort of thing quite often. Now, do you suppose we can get the old man to come to terms? Griff Miller? Oh, I'm sure you can. Yes. Uh, pardon me, Mr. Sutton. Someone's just come into the reception room. Oh, certainly. Well, hello, Griff. Well, we were just talking about you. Oh, you was? Uh, oh, excuse me. I didn't know you was busy, Doc. I just come down to the lake to find out how the little Maynard boy's getting along. Oh, he'll be all right, Griff. Just a sprained ankle and a few bruises. Oh. And nothing serious at all. Oh, my college, I'm glad of that. Just, just to think, Doc, he might have been killed right in my property. Well, don't you worry any longer, Griff Miller. Uh, come into the office. I want you to meet someone here. Oh, yes? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Sutton, shake hands with Griff Miller. Uh, how do you do? Uh, Mr. Miller, it's a pleasure to meet a wealthy man. Uh, wealthy man? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I get it. No, another one of Doc Adams' jokes. <laughs> On the contrary, Mr. Miller, I'm not joking at all. I'm very serious. Uh, maybe I'd better explain to Griff, Mr. Sutton. Go right ahead, Doctor. Griff, after Jimmy Maynard fell down that hole in the cave up there on your hill, I started wondering what that hole was. Oh, yep, I've been sort of speculating myself. And I called Mr. Sutton over from Dunlap. He's the head of the Yellow Jacket Mine Company there, Grip. Yellow Jacket Mine? Oh, yep, I see. That hole in that cave, Grip, is a mine shaft. Mine shaft? Yes. That's a gold mine, Grip, with a very rich grain of gold ore running in two directions from the bottom of the shaft. Ah, you are a rich man. Congratulations. And mine, too, Mr. Miller. Mine shaft? Gold? By all is it? seems to me I do recollect my grandpappy talking them out about some gold mine, but I never give it a thought. Rich. Griff Miller Rich. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Sutton wants to make a deal with you, Griff. Deal? Yes. Five thousand dollars cash, advance royalties, and ten percent royalties on everything over there. Five thousand... Five... Can I sit down to spell, Doc? <laughs> sure, Griff. Uh, unless you'd like to go over to the bank and sign the papers right away. Mr. Sutton has to get back to Dunlap. Sign the paper. Oh, eh, yes, that's it. Come on, I'll sign him right away. Five thousand dollars. Jumping G. Horsefat. <laughs> The boys are asleep. No, no, I don't think so. Billy's reading. I can hear him. 
Well, shall we go in? Mm, yes, might as well, I suppose. Come along, Doctor. No, all right. Yeah. What are you doing, boys? Oh, hello, Mom. I was just reading to Treasure Island to Jimmy. Oh, I see. Well, uh, you boys have some visitors if you don't think it's too late. Visitors? For us? Gee, no. It ain't, uh, isn't too late, Dad. <laughs> Very well. Come in, gentlemen. Oh, Dr. Adams and, and Griff Miller. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, how's the ankle, Jimmy? Much better, thanks, Dr. Adams. Well, uh, Griff has something to say to you boys. Okay. <coughs> yeah, uh, well, uh, I just want to tell you, youngins, that uh, I bought two new flat-bottom rowboats yesterday, and uh, these ain't going to have numbers on them. No, nope. all my boats, uh, they all got numbers, of course, but uh, th- these ain't mine. No, one of them's called uh, the Billy Maynard, and the other one's called uh, the Jimmy Maynard. They're... Uh, well, they belong to you, lads. Yeah. Oh, well, oh gee, thanks, oh, Griff, for us, our very own uh, oh, God. Oh, say, God. say, I almost forgot something else. Uh, wait a minute. Here you are, boys. Huh? Well, well, what are these? Uh, two pieces of paper. Uh, let me see those. Hmm, two checks made out on the Cedarton State Bank. One to Jimmy Maynard and the other to Billy Maynard. Each for one thousand dollars. Gosh, Griff, oh, that for oh, each. Yeah. Oh, gosh. You see, uh, I ain't never had no schooling, and well, those is to be tucked away in the bank till you lads is ready to go away to college some someday. Well, well, Doc, I'll see you down at the automobile. Uh, good night, all. Oh, good night, Griff. Thanks a lot. Well, well, I tell you, I, I'm overcome. Oh, Glenn, isn't that lovely? Hmm. Griff Miller's heart is like the bottom of his mine shaft. Two very rich veins of gold running in two directions, out towards others and into his own soul. This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>